love for you today out there, driver of the day, and finishing there with, with the fastest lap, which got a, a little nod uh, from Max over the radio, but ultimately a, a tough Grand Prix to make much of an impression in. Yeah, it, it was. You know, we obviously after yesterday qualifying out of position, we, we knew we had to try something and, and maybe you get the safety car at the right time. I, I think as we saw, or from what I understand, it was a yeah tough race for overtaking. Not Not too many people were we're carving through cars so yeah we we went aggressive at the beginning on a soft and just thought maybe we get lucky at some point but uh wasn't to be but i think ultimately we friday looked really promising but uh we just weren't quick enough you know especially race pace this weekend and i don't know how yuki's race went but i saw obviously he was out of the points and obviously starting in the points i guess we just probably weren't weren't quick enough so that was that and then we obviously the last few laps uh, Pierre asked, you know, if we should go for fastest lap, and I thought... He might owe you, why not? Max, for that at the end of the I year, I suppose you'll so be conscious of that. If Max wins by a point, then yeah. I just guaranteed myself a nice Christmas present. <laughs> Listen, uh, we don't know what's coming next for you, but you were driver of the day. Maybe I think that reflects the emotion Formula One fans have for you. They, they don't want to see you go. Um, I don't know what... How, what was what how are you thinking heading into this little period i mean if it were to be the end would you be sad not to to be able to know you were saying you could buy in advance of a race I mean, what do you think about it all uh, um i i don't know like i i also i also have to acknowledge why i came back you know after the mclaren stint and it was you know, I always said I don't want to come back just to just to be on the grid. You know, I want to try and fight back at the front and, and get back back with Red Bull. And um, yeah, obviously it didn't didn't come to fruition. So then I also have to ask myself the question: Well, then what what else what else can I achieve? You know, and what else is there to really go for? Um, so yeah, I look. I, I put my best foot forward. It, let, let's say maybe the fairy tale ending didn't didn't happen, but. I also have to look back on, on what it's been, you know, 13 or so years and um, yeah, I'm proud and I think typically the driver of the day thing is maybe not something us drivers look too much into, but today I can say it's something I'm uh, appreciative of. So um, yeah, that that one today means means a little something. It's been a fine, fine career. Thank you, Thank Daniel. You. Thank you. Thank you. It was hard work, I think, for everyone out there today, and it, there were some difficult spells in the race for you. But are you heartened with the way it, it finished? Uh, well, I, I, we did the best we could do, and I think with the bad quality we had yesterday, we uh, we paid a little bit of price of that today. And uh, but I think we did a great race today. There, there's nothing we could have done better. We stayed patient in the first part of the race, which was a bit too long uh, of a first part because it was 35 laps or, or 25 laps or whatever it was behind Nico and Fernando and that was very frustrating but as soon as I got free air I think we had a really I um, mean a good pace so uh, that was good. Yeah I suppose I mean being able to close down on George pass Lewis and, and close down on George I mean it ultimately was it was it right to pick you when when you did not earlier which maybe I think you were thinking might have been the better play. No I we discussed about that uh, this morning there was very few scenarios where I would pit early and we decided to kind of uh, go for the longer one and hope also as a, a two for a lucky safety car which never happened but uh, he didn't compromise our race too much, I think. Okay. Just finally, how do things stand with Ferrari? I guess it could have been a better weekend with a better qualifying gear. McLaren looking very strong, though. So still work to do for the team. Too. Still some work to do, but that doesn't change since quite a long time. McLaren remains the car to beat today. They've shown it again. Um, Red Bull seems to be still strong with, with Max, of course. And uh, we seem to be the third force. And. Uh, that doesn't really change. I think in qualifying there was definitely room to do much better and maybe first row was possible. But uh, but today in the race, I, apart from being in front of George, I, I don't think that I, uh, we deserved off, off a podium with the pace we had. Well done all the same. Thank, Thank you. you. Very well done. Martin Brundle called that a, a, a champion's drive. Uh, how, how satisfied were you with it, particularly the way you opened up such a gap in that first stint? I mean, a lot of it was uh, was pretty straightforward, and I was very comfortable with. Of course, there was a couple of moments which were a little bit too close for my liking. Um, 
But it was good, you know, the car's been mega all weekend. I feel like I've been on good form the whole weekend. I've been able to, to just be comfortable and execute well and, and get the most out of the car. Um, even when it's not been easy to drive, you know, it's been easy to make mistakes and things, and a couple of those mistakes I paid the price for today. But uh, we were just quick, you know, and I, as soon as I got back in a good rhythm, we were quick again. So uh, it was a good day. It's been a great weekend, in fact. Um, mistake free, really, from my side, apart from a couple of things today. And, um, a weekend executed exactly how I, I planned for and exactly how I want to uh, I, I want to execute weekends, um, but nevertheless, still a tough one and not uh, not easy, even with uh, how quick we've been. So um, a satisfying one. Yeah, I mean, you kept it exciting with uh, those couple of brushes with the, with the wall. Was there anything to do with the relentlessness of it? No safety car, no brake. I mean, you're carrying a big expectation of, I yeah. must win this. Uh, how, how physically tough was it out there I today? Mean, and mentally, I suppose. Mentally tough, yeah. I, you know, um, physically tough. Uh, sweating a lot. It's pretty hot in the car. It's extremely hot in the car, actually. Um, you know, like we're the tough conditions for us as drivers. It's, it's not easy. This is. Um, it doesn't look it on the TV, but let me let me assure you. Inside the car, it's it's tougher than a lot of other sports, and um, it's tougher than what it looks. And uh, we're performing at the, the top level of what we can perform as as, as humans. Um, it's why we're athletes. <laughs> Uh, but that's the task, you know, that's my job is to make sure I'm fit and performing well and, and that is a little bit part of it, especially on a race weekend like we have today and a race like we had today. Um, but it's tough to, to manage the, as soon as you relax a little bit too much, you can make mistakes because you, you're not focused and as soon as you push a little bit too hard, you can also make, make mistakes, you know, so it's, it's a challenge. It's not easy out there, but um, it's good fun. Just finally, he didn't quite get the Grand Slam because Ricardo comes in and nicks the fastest lap. 52 points in it. Um, you're doing what you have to do. You just keep doing that. Keep trying to apply pressure to Max. That's all you could do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would have loved fastest lap, but Daniel, Daniel got me at the end, so um, I'll give it to him. You know, but uh, I would have loved to. I mean, it's been a great weekend apart from FE1. If you won our second, but the rest we've been on top and we've been quickest, so it would have been nice to do the whole thing together. Um, but this is what I got to do. It's what I need. It's what we need to do as a team. I mean, we've executed things perfectly as a team, and especially to get Oscar in P3 today. Um, but we need to do it uh, every race till the end of the year if I want to have a chance to, to get Max. But we're working hard, and um, if I keep doing what I've done this weekend, then it's definitely possible. Probably won't be just one point, but Daniel helped you out. Um, Maybe a little goodbye present from him. He's been a, a, a good figure in Formula One, and if it is his last race, that's it. maybe a little intervention that people will remember. Yeah, I mean, Danny and I, we go, of course, a long time way, way back, and, you know, we have uh, always had a great relationship, um, great friendship, a lot of respect for each other as well. So um, he's just a great guy, you know. I, I get on well. It just clicks. You know, there's no... Uh, uh, no, there's no fake person. You know, you just get along, get along, and easy going. We like that. Um, you will, you will for sure be remembered as a very fast driver. That's, I think everyone knows that. But also as a great guy in the paddock.